Okay, David Mandel here. And uh, right now what we're going to do is we're going to um, write a, a little tiny sample um, Born Shell script and uh, just to get us used to the idea and just, just a general feel for what we have to do. We'll start out by doing that in, uh, in, in Emacs. So let us, let's suppose we want to uh, write a, a born shell or bash shell um, being more or less the same thing for our purposes. And we're going to call this turkey. Um, I normally end my shell programs with the .sh, but actually by the time I implement them, I usually drop the .r uh, s, the dot .sh, so people don't have to type that when they type the name of the program. Anyway, we're going to start this by typing in Emacs, uh, turkey.sh. I am now located down in the, my own personal bin directory. Where, which is what I use to write most of my shell programs. I've started the shell program already here. I've started by patterning it a little bit off of a program I wrote long ago. Um, whoops. Um, sorry about that. So our, our program here to start with, any program, any shell program starts off with um, a, um, I'm sorry, a pound sign, exclamation mark, which uh, Unix people usually use the slang term bang for exclamation mark. It's a lot shorter. So we start off with pound sign bang, and then a path to the program that we are going to use. Actually, that should be slash bin slash sh. Let's see if that is there. Slash bin bin slash s h. Yes, sure enough, that program is there. So that's what I want. If, for example, if I was doing a Perl program, I in that line I would put slash bin slash whoop slash. Well, I'd find wherever Perl is. Um, slash USR slash bin slash Perl. Okay. If I was writing a Perl script up here, instead of putting the name of my shell here, of the born shell, I'd put the name of the bash shell. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, the Perl shell. I'd put the uh, slash USR slash bin slash Perl. But I'm writing a born shell, so I will put slash bin slash sh. If you prefer to put slash bin slash bash, that will work just as well. Um, and then the way I start all of these is with a series of comments. I start out by putting my own name and generally the date this was written. So written by David Mandel in November uh, 2011. And then I put some contact information for me. Um, that way, basically, people can get a hold of me if there's some problem with this that crops up later, or if um, they think I did a good job and they want to hire me. Uh, you know, get your name out there. Advertising is good. After that, I will put a statement about the purpose of the shell. And I have already done this. In this shell, I don't intend on doing much very exciting here. Um, let's start out by just doing a few general commands. Echo, um, this is a dumb shell, uh, um, shell script that doesn't do much. Do much. Um, Oops, um, this guy here is probably a problem. We can get around that problem by putting this whole guy in quotes. Um, well, I don't know. Let's see if that works. 
to see if that works, let's just take that command out here, try it over here, and see if that command works. Yep, it types what I want. What happens if I didn't have the double quotes here? Um, it wouldn't work. Um, basically, the single quote would um, act as a separator and make the everything kind of goof up. So, um, so that's the way we know we want the double quotes. Okay, let's add a couple other things here. Let's put um, um, echo today. Well, I need double quotes again here. Today's date is double quotes here. OK. And then we want to put the date function. Um, and I, I don't know quite how to put that, but we need to come up with a way to put this here. OK, that works. So let's go back over here and let's try this. Then we should just be able to, well, let's see. If we just put date here, that works. So we should be able just to put date here, right? Well, uh, instead it spells out date. That's not very good. It happens that if you use the backward single quote, that's the quote up in the upper right hand or upper left-hand um, corner of your keyboard, um, what happens is it will evaluate that anything in between those two quotes before it does the echo command, or before it does any the command where that statement is. Ah, so that's what we need here. OK, we'll go back here. We'll put in our double quotes, uh, or backwards quotes like this. OK, we've got things here. So that's pretty cool. So let's save this guy. Let's go out here. And we should have this turkey program here. So let's execute the turkey. Well, it doesn't see that as a command. Well, maybe, maybe if we try this. Nope, something, oh, permission denied. Something's wrong. So let's look at our permissions. OK, remember, we need to have the X access rights in order to execute something as a program. So we give this the X rights. Then we say, Turkey, yes, it works. OK, remember, we have to get our rights all correct here. Now. The next thing, suppose this is a program that we wanted everybody to execute, because um, it, 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 it's, it's a good program. What we could do with this is let's make a copy of this program. And we'll copy it with all access rights here. And we're going to copy this over into this area. US slash USR slash local slash bin. And now, I can't copy over there because I don't have the access rights to, co be, uh, to copy there. So I'll have to become root in order to copy that guy there. Um, of course, then I go over to the wrong place. So I've got to go back to slash uh, to the wherever I was located. And then I can do the CP command with. Um, um, this guy here. And that should copy that guy. Whoops. What did I do? Clearly didn't do something right. Turkey. There. OK, now that copies that over into the location I wanted to copy that, right? And guess what? Uh, most everybody has uh, read rights and execute rights on that guy. So um, anybody should be able to run that. So suppose I go back here. I become myself again. I am no longer root. And let me just go up a level here. So I, I don't even have that 
uh, script available to me, but I want to do the turkey command. There it is. We have written our first shell program. Now, suppose what we want to do with this guy is that we would like to run this as a cron tab. OK, the first problem we're going to have running this as a cron tab is um, cron just sends the output out to never, never land. Or maybe it points it in mail. But basically, if you want to use cron, you need to redirect your output someplace. So let us make a area here that we're going to call logs. Um, logs. OK. Now, we've got a guy under our area called logs. Um, and let's pretend that only we are going to run this program. Then I can go back into this area here. And suppose we want to output this thing to, um, we're going to redirect all the output to a file in the logs area that is named um, turkey dot and then the date. So let's set up output file. L local output file, we'll call this. This will be slash home slash dmandle slash log or was that logs, logs, slash. And then we're going to call this turkey, dot. And then I want the date. Uh, only I want the date in a reasonable format. So we've got to figure out how to make the date in a reasonable format. We could put date like this, but that's not going to get us the right format. Let's go back here. Let's look at date. Well, that's an awful format, especially to have that as part of a file name. So let's do man space date and see what we have here for options. And uh, well, here's an option here for formatting date. And notice it requires a plus symbol here. That's the thing I always forget to put. But um, And if we look down at our date with the format, you will see that basically there's abbreviations for various types of um, like uh, colon or um, percent sign D is day of month, so on and so forth. So let's experiment with these a little bit. Let's put in date uh, plus um, percent Y percent month percent day. Uh, let's see if that works. I don't think it will. Actually, it does work. Um, I don't feel safe with that, though. I'd rather, um, probably rather, I, I really would feel safer if I had some quotes around that. But in any case, it, it will pretty much work. So let's put this over here. Whoops. Plus, let's put double quotes around this guy. Plus, percent Y, percent M, percent D, double quotes. Now I need the closing back quote to match the closing back quote over there. Now I should be able to reroute this guy as um, percent uh, LFN. Whoop. And we'll do the same thing here. Whoops. Did something wrong here. Oh. Uh, we're running out of time here, but we'll go down here. We're going to put that. Whoa, that didn't work there. Um, OK, and with that, we're going to save this guy. And then we'll come back for the next part. OK.